Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn to generate a tweet for your new RSS feeds automatically and share that RSS feed along with a tweet on Twitter automatically. And we are going to set up this automation by connecting RSS feeds feature of Pavli in the trigger and then open AI in the action step and then Twitter in another action step in the automation workflow. And we are going to set up this whole automation without any coding super easily. So let's start. So we are going to build this no code automation workflow inside Pabli connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. And from here you can set up your free Pabli connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli connect application. Okay. And from this dashboard, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. And here I'm giving the name to this workflow as um, share RSS feeds on Twitter using open AI. Okay. And after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow is getting ready here. And on this workflow page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So trigger here is that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. Okay. So the trigger event is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence of the trigger or the response towards the trigger. Okay. So in this use case, suppose that you are running a website and in on that website, you are sharing your articles on RSS feeds. Okay. So here we are going to connect RSS by Pabli feature of Pabli connect and that is going to capture the details of your RSS feeds here in this workflow. So that will act as a trigger and the action towards that trigger would be to generate a tweet for that same RSS feed using OpenAI. And after that, in another action step, we are going to share the same tweet on Twitter. Okay. So let's build this. So First of all, I am going to search for RSS feature of Pavli Connect. Here it is. All right. And the trigger event would be new item in the feed. Okay. All right. Then click on connect. And here it is asking for the feed URL. So here you have to paste this kind of a URL. This means the URL of your RSS website. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you an example of this website. It's a, a news website and I'm going to use this health RSS section. Okay. So this is the health RSS section you can see. All right. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy the link of this RSS feed like this and I'm going to paste this feed URL here. All right. And now click on save and send test request button and the most recent RSS feeds data will be captured here. And here you can see guys, this, we have received this title viral video. This street food ally in Japan is stray rara movie set. This is the title we have received. Let's check if we have this feed in the RSS. Yes, this is the most recent RSS feed we have in our website. Okay. And that the same got captured here. This is the publishing date. This is the link of the feed and this is the content snippet. Okay. And this is the whole content actually, right? <laughs> now guys, uh, I want to share this uh, article that I have created that I have written in my RSS on my Twitter handle. And for that, I want to create a small tweet as well. So to generate a small tweet for this article, I'm going to use open AI application. So open AI guys is an artificial intelligence based content generation tool. Okay. You must have know about it. So uh, I'm going to search for open AI here. Here it is. And the action event would be generate content. Then click on connect. And from here select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key of open AI application. So you will find this API key by clicking on this help text written in blue 
or what you can do you just you can just open your open ai applications dashboard like this and from this profile section you can click on view api keys and you will find the key here like this or you can generate a new key by clicking on this create new secret key button and here's how the key will be generated you just have to copy this click on ok and paste this here in the token field all right and then click on save and you will be connected with open ai right we are connected and here it is asking for the artificial intelligence model that you want to use to generate the content so um, in open ai there are several models of uh, uh, artificial intelligence algorithms or the codes uh, by which you can generate the uh, content that you want to generate okay so the most used model is this text davinci 002 model so i'm going to select this only and here it is asking for a prompt so guys to uh, to give a command to open ai to do the things for you you have to provide a prompt okay so prompt is a kind of command that you can provide to open ai to automatically generate any kind of content using artificial intelligence technology okay so you can just click on support prompts format here on the help text and you can see how the prompts work in open ai okay so let me show you just an example uh, so i want to generate a shareable uh, i want to generate a tweet for sharing my uh, content that i have uh, published on rss feed of my website okay so for that i am going to provide a prompt here let me type a prompt so guys i have written this prompt here for open ai i have commanded open ai to write a playful and short tweet to share my new article that has a title and the description and don't repeat the title only use maximum two hashtags don't include urls that's obvious okay because i'm going to share the url of my own feed on twitter and do not use I, uh, v word use i or me because i am a single person this is this is a very specific prompt i have provided to open ai to generate a specific content so you have to provide the prompts smartly okay you will uh, learn the giving the prompts when you practice it okay and here guys in the title and the rss description section i am going to map this title that i have received here in the first step okay and the content snippet label as well so when you map these things here let me first show you how to map the data so you just have to click here so you can see i have inserted the double apostrophe uh, apostrophe commas here and between these apostrophe commas i am going to uh, map the data so you just have to click here in between the commas and the first tab will appear in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will see all the data here only so from here i'm going to first map the title you can see the title got, got mapped here the title label similarly in the description i am going to map uh, the content snippet label okay so this is a small content snippet about my title okay so when you map the labels here like this what will happen after setting up this automation in real time whenever i am going to publish a new rss feed these labels here are going to change are going to be updated according to my feed and new content new tweets will be generated using open ai okay according to the mapped labels right that's why we map the things here right and here it is asking for the tokens so tokens are the maximum number of words that you want to generate so the default value of those words are 256 in twitter we also have a limit of 280 words of uh, tweets so i'm going to put the limit here as let's say 280 only okay the default value is 256 now it is asking for the sampling type so guys artificial intelligence uses sampling technology to generate content so there are two type of samplings here temperature or nucleus i'm using temperature only that's a default value okay you can provide sampling value between 0 to 1 here default value is 0 0.7 i'm going to put the sampling value as 0 0.8 okay you can put any random value as well all right so you can leave this penalty and frequency penalty uh, fields blank these are not compulsory things and you can provide a stop sequence also so so stop sequence are provided to 
uh, inform artificial intelligence that all right now you have to stop at this sequence okay so you can just uh, use a random uh, verse random uh, symbols and verse for providing stop sequence as you have you can see in the example so i'm just putting it here like this <clears throat> okay best of option so here when you select best of one two three or five it is going to resample the content and give you the best of three or five um, among the contents that have been generated so i'm going to select here three so we can get the best quality content okay now you can click on save and send test request button and artificial is going to artificial intelligence is going to work for you and generate a tweet for you let's see what happens so now you can see guys in the response section we got this kind of response the uh, it is showing uh, the id and the object as text completion and the model used is this and so in this choices zero text label guys you can see the actual content that has been generated for us and this is a tweet uh, created by openai for us so it is showing this street food ally from japan is so amazing it looks like straight out of movie set okay so this is kind of a similar uh, thing that has been generated and this was our title and this is how it is it has generated the tweet for us so you can uh, use this for sharing the tweet now for sharing the tweet you just have to click here and another action step will open up and here in this action step i'm going to connect with twitter so you have to search for twitter and then select the action event as create tweet then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with twitter all right so if you're logged in in your twitter account it will ask you to authorize this application to make this connection so click on authorize app all right so it will take a few moments like this so your authorization is successful and we are connected with twitter so now guys taking this automation one step forward what i want now that uh, we are using an artificial intelligence tool to create tweets for us but there is a possibility in future that our tweet will not be shared due to some technical errors or issues so we are going to uh, ensure uh, the posting of tweet we are i want actually that if in case my tweet doesn't get shared I should receive a, e a email on over my email inbox informing me that my tweet is not shared and if it is shared I also want to receive a notification email telling me that my tweet is already shared okay so for that first of all uh, I am going to map the details I have used here I have created here I have generated here using OpenAI and I am going to share a tweet and after that i'm going to create two routes for two conditions one condition is that the tweet is actually shared and so the second condition is that there is some error in this step and the tweet doesn't get shared okay so for that for that condition in which there is an error we are going to deliberately generate an error here okay let me show you how so first of all to share a tweet we are going to click here and you can see the previous steps are appearing here in the drop down so from this open ai step i am going to map the choices text label to create a tweet and after this i am i also want to share the link of my rss seed which which you will find here in the first step so map the link as well okay now click on save and send test request button to check your connection with twitter and a test tweet will be shared from your profile let me show you I am clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let me show you in my profile if we got a new tweet so this is my profile and here let me refresh this page and here we got a new tweet you can see and this tweet is saying this street food alley from Japan is so amazing it looks like straight out of a movie set okay and there is a uh, link attached here you can see there's not a proper link let me just give a space here between the text so the link will be shared properly
let me click on save and send test request again all right now let's see and now you can see this is how the tweet will be shared this is the tweet this is the content generated with the help of open ai with two hashtags and this is the link of my rss feed okay now guys what i'm going to do i'm going to click on save and send test request button one more time and it will show me an error because our twitter action doesn't post duplicate messages okay so we have already shared this message as a tweet now when i'm going to click on save and send test request button it will show me an a duplication error let me show you so here you can see now it is showing error code label and the error messages status is a duplicate okay so I have, we have deliberately done this because now i am going to click here on this plus icon and from this action step i am going to use this router so router creates conditional paths for different kind of conditions so here you can see when you choose router it will show you two routes here like this and from the set filter and action steps button you can create conditional routes so first condition is that we have received an error there is a technical error and we have received this error code label here in the previous step so when this label arrives that means we have some error okay so this is our first condition so click on set filter and action steps and i'm going to apply the first condition here using the filter so i'm going to select this label here from this last step the error code label so when whenever there is an error this label is going to exist in the response so i'm going to select the filter type as exist so whenever this error code label exists that means we got some error so when this error arrives let me click on save and send test request button here you can see the condition is true we got an error so when whenever there is an error i want to receive an email so to receive an email just click here on this plus icon and from here i am going to search for gmail application to receive or send an email to myself okay and the action event would be send email click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with gmail from this window you have to select that gmail account by which you want to send the email to your team member or to yourself or to any other person so i'm selecting a email account here okay you can see the authorization is successful and here you can uh, enter the email address of any recipient to whom you want to send this email so let's say i have a team member who resolves these kind of issues who is expert in automation so i want to inform him about that automation errors so this is the email address of that automation expert okay sender's name is mm, my name i'm just putting my name here email subject tweet tweet error update or twitter status update tweet status update okay right and here i'm selecting the email content type as plain and here let me type a email for sending this issue so this is a kind of tweet i have uh, uh, this is a kind of email i have written dear expert this is to inform you that some tech due to some technical error your automated tweet couldn't be shared please check your automation workflow to resolve the issue okay now you can check your connection also uh, with with gmail application by clicking on save and send test request button and this email will be delivered to this email address okay this email address so this is not an original address i am going to uh, mention my address there and i will show you the email okay so here guys you can click on save and send test request or you can just save this step i am just saving this step for now and i am closing this step and right now i am going to copy this same step because the second route will be similar to this route we are just going to change the filter uh, label okay so i am just clicking here on the three dots and here we have this clone step option click on clone then click on clone again and you can see the same route get uh, cloned one more time now you can delete this third route okay and in this cloned route i am going to just click on set filter and action steps 
and I'm going to change this filter condition here. So when we are going to, uh, when there is new, no issue in tweeting or sharing the tweet, there will be no error code level in the response of the Twitter step. Okay. So I'm just going to change the filter type here and I'm going to change the filter type as does not exist. So when there is an, uh, no issue, there will be no error code label in the response. Now click on save and send test request button. And here you can see that showing the condition is false because here uh, right now we have deliberately created an error. Okay. Now uh, the email is going to, is also going to change. Now the email is something like this. Let me change the email. So I have changed this email like this. This is to inform you that your automated tweet just got shared from a Twitter handle. You can check it from a Twitter account. Okay. Now let's check the email connection guys. I'm going to click on save and send test request and I'll show you how the test email is going to look like. So let's say this is the email inbox of the automation expert to whom we want to inform about the tweets. And here I'm clicking on save and send test request button. Let's see if this account receives an email. So, so this is the response we have received guys. And I have received a new email as well. And you can see the name is my name. The subject is tweet status update. And here you can see the mail is this dear expert. This is to inform you that you your automated tweet just got shared from your Twitter handle. You can check it from your Twitter account. So this is I have sent this email. This is a test email. I have just sent it to check our connection and it's working fine. And you can see we got the same email with the same subject details and the sender's name details. So our what is, our automation is complete and this is how you can uh, set up this. And you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, it is going to run automatically whenever you are going to share a new RSS feed on your website or you can share the RSS feeds of any other websites as well. A tweet will be generated out of OpenAI application and the same will be shared on your Twitter handle and if there is any issue you will receive an update on email and also you will receive these kind of sharing confirmation emails as well. And guys you can use the same workflow as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.